Whether it's healing items, materials, or weapons you're looking for, money can solve most of your problems. There's two proficient ways of making money in Near Replicant, and even better, you can do these two methods pretty early into the game. First, we're gonna go over gardening. Now, gardening is unlocked by completing the florist quest at the village, and it's the best way to make money very early in the game, all the way as early as part one. You can easily get 50k right off the bat with this method. So here's the outline to the steps that you're going to be doing if you want to use this method. And I'm going to be going in depth with these steps so you can do it yourself. First off, you're going to need a little bit of startup money. The more money you have, the better. And I'd say that around 5,000 is a pretty good start. You're going to head on over to Seafront and buy as many rice seedlings that you can. You can purchase fertilizer if you want, but I don't like grabbing them specifically because it just takes much longer to actually plant the fertilizer. It just makes the farming process a lot slower. So if you don't get the fertilizer, don't worry about it. After you've gotten your seeds, go ahead and head back home. Now, this is where we're going to go back and forth from the PlayStation home screen to Near Replicant. So follow these instructions I walk you through to a T. First of all, head to the PlayStation home. And you're gonna go ahead and change your time zone to American Samoa. It's gonna be at the very top of the list here. Once that's done, go back to Near Replicant. Now you can go ahead and plant all your rice seedlings and then water them. After you're done with that, save your game and then return to the title screen. Now we're going to go back to the PlayStation home screen and change the time zone again. And this time we're going to change it to Independent State of Samoa, which is located at the very bottom of the list. Once you've done that, go ahead and load up your save file And when you check out your garden, there it is. You'll see a ton of rice for you to go ahead and harvest. And hey, if this guide is helping you out, drop a like or leave a comment letting me know. Now from here, you're gonna go ahead and harvest all of your rice, but you're eventually going to get to a point where it will have a little message saying the following could not be harvested. All that means is that you've got nearly 99 stock of rice, which now you need to just go ahead and sell. Once you've done that, harvest the rest of the rice and sell it off as well. I started here with about 160,000 during this run and I ended at 209,000. So it seems like each run gives about 50K profit, give or take. Now that you're done selling your rice, go ahead and save your game. And from here, you're gonna go back into the PlayStation home screen and change your time again to American Samoa. And again, it's at the very top of the list here. Once you've done that, head back into Near Replicant, save your game, and from here on out, you repeat the process. The rule here is that you just want to make sure that your time zone is in American Samoa, the very top of the list, before you plant your seeds. Now you can continue doing this method for as many times as you want. For now, it's not getting patched out, and I don't, really don't think that it will. If it does, just let me know through the comments so I can let other people know as well. Now, if you're at part two in the game, my personal preference to make money quickly is through fishing. 
Over here at the Eastern Road, there's this river that has royal fish in it that you can catch using earthworm bait. And they sell for 4,000 per fish. By scooping up royal fish, I can make about 80K in about 10 minutes of fishing. But I do want to give a disclaimer that this does take time to build. To catch royal fish quickly, you'll need to complete the fisherman's gambit quests over at Seafront. Completing these quests build your fish catching skill. And basically, each quest that you complete with him, it'll make it much easier and faster to catch fish. After you've completed all of those quests, and yes, I would suggest finishing them all if you really want to go this route, go ahead and pick up some earthworm bait, head on over to the eastern road, and here you can go ahead and pick up the royal fish. Just a quick note on them, the royal fish will pull on your bobber three times, that's when you can go ahead and hook it and reel it in. If you're looking for tips on how to finish the Fisherman Gambit's quest, I'll have a guide for that as well. I'll just go ahead and throw that in a pinned comment below. Now that you know how to make crazy amounts of money, it's time to buy anything that you want, most notably weapons. 